Hey guys, welcome back to Rossoneri TV. I'm Gio and I'm here for a new video to bring you the latest AC Milan news and rumors. Now I'm finally in Italy and I couldn't make yesterday's video, but I would like to thank Adamo for filling in uh, for me and he did a very good job. So uh, let's speak about today's news and rumors guys, because there are some updates concerning some players in which we are close to signing uh, and also some players that we are interested in. Now, first of all, let's speak about Marco Piazza. Like Adamo mentioned yesterday, Galliani had a meeting with his agent and the Daimo Zagreb president, and it seems that Milan are very, very close to finally uh, sealing the deal with Daimo Zagreb regarding the player. And it seems that if it doesn't arrive maybe today or tomorrow, it should arrive by the weekend. I think we are very close to him. There's like a 95% chance that we will sign him in the end. And uh, concerning the teams that were interested in him, of course, Juventus was willing to pay around 15 to 16 million euros. And that pretty much puts them out of the race, even though nothing is yet confirmed. Uh, now, Milan is willing to pay about 20 to 25 million euros along that price range uh, for Piazza. And that is why they have the advantage. So once again, it seems that Piazza will become a Milan player in the next maybe few hours or in the next days. Nothing is yet official, but as I said, it's more than likely that he will arrive now. Also, I want to speak about Musacchio, of course. I mentioned it a few days ago that Milan are interested in the 25-year-old uh, center back from Villarreal. Now, uh, it seems that Milan has already found an agreement with the player for about... Uh, I'm not quite sure about the price, but it seems that it's a four-year contract. What's missing now is that they find an agreement with Villarreal. Uh, of course, the player does have a release clause. I think it's about 25 to 30 million euros. But maybe Milan could negotiate with Villarreal to get it said and done for about 18 to 20 million euros. So uh, once again, this is a player that we have been heavily linked to. And it seems that everything could become official in the next few days as Milan is pushing to sign him. Now, certain people wanted to know a bit more about this player. And I did some research because I didn't really watch him uh, when he played in La Liga for uh, Villarreal. But his uh, main um, threats are that he's very good with tackling and ball possession. Yeah, and that is the type of player that uh, Montella wants because he wants players that know how to move around with the ball. Uh, his only weakness that I saw was that he's not very good in the air. Uh, so his aerial threats are not that great. But I think he could still become a very good center back to pair up with Romagnoli. And hopefully these two... Uh, Pretty young center backs could get the job done for Milan next season. Uh, there's also been reports regarding Kovacic. Contacts continue uh, between Milan and uh, Madrid for Kovacic. It seems that in the next few days, Galliani should meet up with them. But Kovacic, once again, remains a very hot name for our midfield. And I've also read many people comment on the videos uh, telling me that we are interested in Pastore, Alejandro Gomez, as well as Andre Gomez. And uh, the reason why I'm not talking about these players too much is because we are interested in them according to some sources. But there's nothing official in terms of negotiations or anything like that. And that is why I'm trying to avoid these types of sources and, more, and focus more on the certain official ones. So... Uh, I know there are, there are players out there in which we are interested in, but I'm focusing more on players in which uh, we have been heavily linked to or we have official confirmation that negotiations have started. So that pretty much sums up today's AC Milan news uh, report. So let me know in the comments section what you think about these uh, news regarding our players as we are pushing for Musacchio as well as Piazza. Could these two signings do very well at Milan? or not let me know in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to rossoneri tv to stay updated with everything going on at ac milan on a daily basis and i'll catch you guys later for another video this has been geo signing off and as always 